extremely excited uh, once again uh, this year uh, with the conference on internationalization of higher education uh, last year i think this was the last uh, public event uh, physically done event on our university campus it was on the 6th and 7th and 8th of march and immediately after that we were hit so badly by the pandemic that we're still under it and uh, here we are again virtually meeting but nevertheless i think virtual conferences do have their own advantages and you have a larger audience you spend less money you get the best of people to talk to you because they just have to spend a few hours and not really several days traveling from one continent to the other and leaving their work and families so we're very very happy that this year we've got a phenomenal response because a the topic is very relevant and b most importantly it's virtual and of course the third and most important thing is that this conference is not just of the symbiosis international university but uh, uh, like every year it is in association with uh, the association of indian universities uh, we are also supported by the world bank and nina uh, my dear friend is here and of course uh, by uh, obrial global india chapter which we will talk about more during the network session uh and so i'm so happy that you know uh, four uh, different uh, you know organizations one is a university others are networks one is a world bank and uh, you know we've all come together to discuss about internationalization of higher education in this context and what we've seen through the last year is how our faculty switched over from a conventional mode of teaching and learning to uh, both faculty and students i would say uh, to an online mode of uh, you know teaching and learning and uh, while in we were in january and february and we, we were hoping and thinking that things are going to move for the good for all of us all across the world and specifically for india and we also thought that within the next 2 3 months our students will join us physically and we decided that we will move into a blended mode of education because now the faculty were used to online education and more importantly students and faculty were excited with this mode of pedagogy Uh, but i'm sorry to say that we're still in the online mode and hopefully by the next academic year the indian academic year which starts in june uh, we should move on to a blended education and then we discussed internally that uh, what kind of blended education how should it be imparted what should be the guidelines and norms uh, and then we realized that i think the biggest advantage of blended education is to get faculty from across the world to teach your students and therefore we felt that Uh, you know we are actually reimagining internationalization of higher education through this blended education being a catalyst to bring in this aspect of internationalization and we've always spoken about internationalization at home we've always spoken about how only the uh, elite students get to travel across the world uh, spend semesters uh, in some foreign university or do degree programs in some foreign university and that uh, percentage we all know was just about 2% Uh, but then what happens to those 98% students and then we always discussed about uh, we should practice internationalization at home but here we are uh, we are compelled to practice internationalization at home uh, and i'm very happy that all students across all the 100% students on any university campus get this flavor of internationalization through online and blended education and that's exactly what we are going to discuss but i think the crux of all this is uh, you know what happens to the quality Uh, do you impart the same kind of quality education while you are doing online and blended uh, or is the conventional education system that actually conforms to the quality standards of any university and therefore we thought that we will have this pre conference session today uh, beginning with the uh, you know with the, uh, discussing quality assurance practices world over and dr bhama uh, is here i mean for us she is like one driving force who drives quality across symbiosis institutions and she's going to chair that session and uh, parallelly we also have a session uh, where uh, faculty are going to be interested to know various resources that really uh, you know that really are going to uh, you know help them to bring about uh, this uh, you know uh, delivery of online or blended education and then of course uh, a topic that is always debated by academia world over which is on rankings and you uh, you couldn't have anyone better than the 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 qs and the indian nirf and of course uh, my dear friend ellen who's going to actually chair that session so the pre conference session is going to be extremely exciting and of course from tomorrow on we have three days of wonderful uh, learning for all of us 
uh, with the inauguration being done by the uh, Minister of Education himself. Uh, and of course, all our partners uh, and their representatives will be speaking at the inaugural. And we have several topics and I won't go into those details because all of you have those details. But uh, I'm personally very excited because I think uh, we are seeing a sea change in, uh, in the higher education world over uh, in the process of internationalization world over. And I, I would say that for India, with the launch of the national education policy just last year, uh, we're really going to see a, a different education system uh, for higher education in India, you know, you know, as years go by. In fact, most of us at our universities are busy preparing for what this new education policy is going to mean to each one of us and how are we going to implement uh, this new education policy. And one of the important chapters in the new education policy is internationalization of higher education. And fortunately, uh, in India, Symbiosis International University has been in the forefront and in fact, has been also associated uh, with this committee of NEP to draft the new education policy. So with these few words, I welcome all of you. Uh, I'm sure uh, the beginning is going to be very exciting. And over the next four days, including today, it's really going to be an academic treat for all of us as academia uh, from across the world. And I personally feel that these kind of virtual conferences are not just uh, impart uh, knowledge, but really create such very strong networks and bonds between uh, various universities, uh, different people from across the world. And uh, here we are, all of us again together to look at, uh, you know, uh, reimagining internationalization of higher education. So thank you very, uh, very much. Thank you. I carry forward with the proceedings.